Welcome to the first section of statistics. As you go through this video, take notes as you would in a normal lecture. But most importantly, think of questions you have and write them down. Think of any concepts you don't understand. We will go over each slide during class, and I would be more than happy to answer any questions you have and clarify any concepts that need more explanation. So what is statistics? Statistics is the science of planning studies and experiments, obtaining data, organizing, summarizing, presenting, analyzing, and interpreting data, and drawing conclusions based on data. Here are some definitions. Data are a collection of observations and or measurements along with its context. Population is all the data that we're interested in considering. Okay, here's an example. Let's say we want to study the average height of male adults in the, in the United States. Then in this case, the population would be every single male adult living in the United States. The act of collecting all measurements all, or data is called a census. You guys may have heard the term um, census. We in the United States um, conduct a census once every four years in which someone goes door to door and asks how many people live in your house. And this is done only once, only once every four years because it's very hard and very um, it's a very lengthy process to collect the data for every single household in the United States. Okay, so a population studies every single unit in the data that we're considering. Here's another example. If you wanted to know on average how many red M&Ms are in a pack of M&Ms, the population would be all the packs of M&Ms in the world, which means we would have to take every single pack of m and that exists, count how many red M&Ms there are, and take its average. Now, what I want you to think about for class is what are some problems that arise when taking a census? A parameter is a measurement characteristic of a population. In the above example, a parameter would be the average height of all adult males in the United States. In the above example, a parameter would be the average number of red M&Ms in the packs of M&Ms in the world. Now, population starts with a P. Parameter starts with a P. So a parameter is a measurable characteristic of a population. It's one easy way to remember. Now, a sample is a subset or a portion of the members from a population which we can study to gain information about the population. Here's an example. Since it's not practical to survey the height of every adult male in the United States, that would take forever and it would require a lot of, uh, a lot of people to do this, we can study the average height of just 1,000 randomly selected adult males in the United States to draw conclusions about the average height of all adult males in the United States. This is much more practical. Studying a thousand adult males versus 200 million is much more practical and much more efficient. In the example with the M&Ms, it's not practical to count the number of red M&Ms in every pack of M&Ms in the world. So we can pick 500 randomly selected packs of M&Ms and count the number of red M&Ms in the sample then we can use the sample to make a conclusion about the population, which is all the packs of M&Ms in the world. The data collected from the sample can help us draw conclusions about the population. Okay, now the a question I want you to think about for class is, why study a sample rather than a population? Okay, so think about this for class. A statistic is a measurable characteristic of a sample. So a statistic and sample both start with an S. Population and parameter both start with a P. So a measurable characteristic of a sample is a statistic. For example, the average height of 1,000 randomly selected adults is uh, a statistic of a sample. The average number of red M&Ms in 500 randomly selected packs of M&Ms is a statistic for the sample of the 500 M&Ms. Here's an example. 
A study was conducted at a local college to analyze the first year salaries of recent graduates, which means um, we're studying uh, students who graduated and we're studying how much money they're making the first year after graduation. The study surveyed and analyzed the salaries of 23 recent graduates. Now, in this case, the population is all recent graduates of the college. And the parameter is the average salary of all recent graduates of the college. A sample is just the 23 graduates who were surveyed. And the statistic is the average salary of the 23 recent graduates who were surveyed. So the study would take the statistic of the sample and make a conclusion about the parameter of the population. Here's another example. A pharmaceutical company wanted to measure the average LDL cholesterol of adults who use Lipitor, a drug that lowers LDL cholesterol. LDL is a bad cholesterol. The company tested blood samples from 129 different adults who are using Lipitor. Population is all adults who are using Lipitor. Remember, population is every single individual that fits the description of the study. And the parameter is the average LDL cholesterol of all, of all adults who use Lipitor. Since it's not practical to study every single adult who uses Lipitor, we collect a sample. The sample is of just 129 adults who use uh, Lipitor. And the statistic is the average LDL cholesterol is uh, of the 129 adult Lipitor users who were tested by the company. So once again, the statistic is of a sample. It's a measurable characteristic of a sample. We're going to take the results of the sample, the statistic, and we're going to uh, make a conclusion about the population. Here's an example. A professor wanted to study the number of hours stat students spend studying for stats each week. Out of the 19 sections of Santa Ana College, the professor surveyed each student from three randomly selected sections. What is the largest group of students the result can of the study uh, represent? So we will talk about this in class. So I want you guys to think about um, the correct answer. 